What's going on you guys? It's Indiana Harley Guy. I'm back at you with another video this week. And this week we're going to focus on the Boulevard. Alright, as I said, we're going to be focusing on my, uh, or I'm sorry, 2008 Suzuki Boulevard C50. Gonna clean this thing up and go for a little ride on it today. And there she is in all of her glory, her very dirty glory. Uh, as you can see, she is definitely filthy. Uh, she's pretty much been sitting for about three or four months, hasn't really been touched. Uh, she is pretty dirty but she does clean up pretty nice so that's what we're gonna do yeah she definitely needs a bath all right so i'm going to show you the ways that i clean my bikes now keep in mind this is not a detail cleaning by no means uh this is just getting all the dirt and bugs off of it and making it look spiffy all this is and this is all that i use i have two microfiber cloths and a bottle of bug slide uh, I get this at my local Harley Davidson dealership. It is a bit on the pricey side. It's about $22 or $23 for a bottle this size, but I promise you it works great. Uh, I'll show you how I use it. Uh, basically what this does is it gets your bike a really nice shine to it, gets it looking good, and it, uh, when it comes to future cleaning, it helps uh, the bugs and stuff like that to not stick to your uh, tins or your windshield or whatever you have, your headlight. It'll help it to where it won't stick to that as easily. Alright, so the first thing I do is I take one of my microfiber cloths and I'll just kind of go over the whole bike with it, knocking all that loose dirt off of it. I'll just go over the whole thing and knock all the loose dust off of it. It'll help clean that a little bit better and also it'll help it to where that, uh, the, uh, uh, whenever you're, you're cleaning it, it's not going to, all them loose particles ain't going to sit there and uh, scratch away at the paint and stuff like that. This is actually my stepson's motorcycle. He uh, almost never rides it. He hasn't ridden it since probably September of last year, roughly. So, and I think he's wanting to sell it. Not 100% sure on that, but as soon as I find out, I'll let you all know in case any of you guys may be interested in this uh, great bike. I actually already have a full video on this bike and how it... Uh, in my opinion, it is one of the better starter bikes if you're just learning how to ride. Uh, I'll have that linked in the description below if you want to go check it out. It's more of an in-depth review of what today's going to be. Today we're just cleaning her off and going to take her out for a little spin and have some fun. All right, now when it comes to this bug slide, literally just a few spritz where you want to clean. Got it on the windshield well as the headlight you'll take I usually just use the first cloth that I used let's give her a good wipe down be sure to get all the bug guts and residue whatever the case may be off get that headlight now if you use this on chrome it is safe for chrome but I do recommend going back over it when you're done cleaning it uh, with a clean microfiber cloth or equivalent because uh, with the chrome I don't know if you know you can see it but a lot of times it will kind of streak a little bit and it kind of give it a uh, uh, oh, what do you call it it'll kind of give it a uh, a little bit of a faded look I guess so if you go back over it with a dry clean uh, microfiber cloth when you're done you'll kind of get rid of that and it'll shine it right up Give a spread or two on the forks. Get them looking good. Like I said, we're gonna get, we're not gonna get this thing spotless. We're just gonna we're just kind of knocking the dust off of her today. Got the front done. 
give her a couple spritz on the gas tank. As you can see, this uh, bug slide definitely helps. It's getting this paint looking nice and spiffy again. Gonna get this little plastic guard around here and on the side of the radiator, the air cleaner box. Get it all polished up and looking spiffy. Hit your cover right here. Kind of get it going all over the place and getting this box looking good. And spray down these pipes real quick. Get them looking all nice and shiny. Get that chrome looking good. Same on the bottom there. And get this whole bike looking good. Because like I said, it is a possibility this bike is going bye-bye. Not 100% sure. All right, I got the whole thing cleaned off. Now I just need to go back over it with the clean microfiber cloth like I was telling you earlier. As you can see, she definitely shines up a lot better. But uh, once you get done with that initial clean, you'll just go back over it. You don't have to be thorough with it. Just kind of go back over the chrome and the paint. That way, all them smudges from that uh, cleaner will come off. I don't even know if you'd be able to pick it up in the camera or not, but that is one thing I don't like about that bug slide is it does do that, but you can't deny how clean that stuff gets your motorcycle. I mean, it gets it, it, it as far as it working with uh, keeping stuff off, keeping bugs and stuff off, making it easier to clean the next go around. That works very well as well. I promise you that works great does make it a lot easier to get them bugs off of it next time you go to clean it ain't got to be perfect with it but it's enough to give it a little bit of a spritz get these handlebars out of the way real quick get this side of the tank get the mirror and this stuff does clean glass and uh, plastic as well get the inside of the windshield get this other mirror hit that headlight and bam, there you go. We have a clean boulevard. I don't know how well you can tell it in the camera, but it uh, it definitely shines this. This bug slide definitely shines your bike up pretty damn well. All right, well, we got the boulevard cleaned up. Now let's go ahead and uh, hop on this thing. And we'll go for a ride. All right, uh, out here on the boulevard. Uh, it's the first time this bike has really gotten any action since... Uh, I believe the last time this bike has been ridden was, uh, I want to say the day before Christmas Eve when I filmed the video on this. Uh, but yeah, I do have a video on this and how I believe this is one of the better beginner bikes you could buy because they're cheap, they're reliable, they're low maintenance, they're lightweight, they're comfortable, uh, they're low to the ground so you got that, uh, you could easily get flat footed if you have shorter inseam like I do. Uh, I have a 28 inch inseam and I can all day long flat foot this motorcycle no issues whatsoever it is a very comfortable bike cheap you can pick these up in perfectly running perfect running condition uh, and borderline showroom condition for about twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars all day long here in southern Indiana that might be a little different where you live but here in southern Indiana, they're running about the $2,500 to $3,000 range in with lower miles, borderline mint condition, and a perfect running order. So these are great bikes, and uh, I wanted to get get out and get a little bit of ride on this thing. It says it's starting to warm up. Our riding season's starting to get into effect here, and uh, that way this thing can get at least a little bit of road time because my stepson, whose bike this actually is, uh, he never rides, and he's actually considering selling this motorcycle. Uh, I'm not quite sure if he's even going to or not. I know he was talking about it the other day, and uh, you know, if they if he does, I will do a video on it, and more another video on it. And you know, if you got any of you guys that are interested, you know, I'll be sure to let you know what we're selling it for. And how you can get a hold of me. This is a fun little bike. I mean, is it the bike that I would choose to ride across the country? Not particularly. Not saying that it's not capable. It would be a very comfortable and very good bike to do that with. But 
it's just for what I bring with me and the type of riding that I do, I prefer my bigger baggers, which is why I have my Road Glide. This bike is not running bad at all. Like, literally, uh, this bike has been sitting since December. Today is the first day it's been fired up. It's been sitting on the battery tender ever since. I checked the oil, checked the coolant, checked the brake fluid all before I even got her out of the garage. Still all look good, no leaks, no nothing. Got her off the battery tender, fired her up, no issues whatsoever. Fired her right up. She's purring like a kitten, she's running like a champ. Uh, as you can see, this does have a couple aftermarket speakers. They are currently not hooked up. Uh, I don't think they've been hooked up ever since we've had the bike. Uh, for a couple reasons. One, because, you know, my stepson, when he rides, wears a full face helmet. And you're wearing a full face helmet on a bike like this with these little speakers. I think they're only 600 watt. So uh, you uh, get going down the road with that, especially with a full face helmet on, you're probably not going to hear the music anyway. Uh, this bike does not have cruise control. However, it does have throttle assist. So you just find where you want to go or what how speed you want. Flip that, flip this little lever down, and she'll kind of maintain that RPM. You'll still need to fluctuate a little bit to, you know, if you're going downhill or uphill, depending on what you're doing. And just flip it back up to turn it off and go. Like I said, uh, this bike, it ain't gonna win any races by no means, but by God, this thing is capable of doing interstate speeds. You could do about 70, 75 miles an hour on this and it'll do it all day long. Uh, we bought this in, uh, at Racer's Edge over on the other side of uh, Cincinnati. Uh, we bought it, I rode it home that day. It was about two and a half hours, give or take. I rode it back home, no issues, only having to stop to put gas in it. Uh, now granted, what I did to get it home, yes, I did, you know, oil changes make sure all the fluids were good, make sure the brakes were good, fork seals were good, uh, bearings were good, all that good stuff that you would normally do uh, on a used motorcycle. Let's see what this thing could do. Like I said, it ain't going to win any races, but it will get up and go. We just hit about 65 mile an hour fairly easily. It definitely had more in it. Like I said, you could comfortably do 70, 75 miles an hour on the interstate on this. Uh, I, that's about the speed I was running when we rode it home. And uh, it didn't feel like the engine was overworking. I mean, it was revving a little on the higher side, but it is a five speed as opposed to your typical Harleys and Indians, which are six speeds. So it was revving a little on the higher side. If I had to guess, probably around the 3,500 RPM mark. But it was handled it like a champ. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I've, we've never had any issues with this bike other than just some general maintenance that needed to be done. Uh, whenever we bought it, it did need new rear brakes. Uh, it has a single disc in the front and it has uh, uh, a drum, drum brake in the back. Uh, both brakes didn't need replaced. They still work, but they, it was time to change them. And uh, we threw a new set of tires on it gave her all fresh fluids, new fork seals. Uh, uh, one of the turn signals was out, so we replaced all four of them. And other than that, we put about, oh, if I had to guess, probably somewhere around 5,000, 6,000 miles on this bike since we've got it, including the ride home. And yeah, it ain't been ridden a whole lot, but ain't never had any issues out of this bike. It's never failed to let, oh, and we did replace the battery as well. The battery was a bit on the weaker side when we bought it, so we threw a new battery in it. But that all, all that is just general maintenance on a motorcycle. Like it's, and it wasn't that bad. I think uh, we paid, if I remember right, about $2,200 for this motorcycle, I believe. And uh, we put about another, between tires and everything, about another $500, $600 in it. And so for, we'll say $2,800, $2,800, you have a perfectly good riding and running motorcycle that is perfectly capable of jumping on it and driving coast to coast if you really wanted to. You could definitely do that with this bike. All right, we're back from taking the old boulevard out. 
Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about stuff we had to do to this bike. As you can see, it does not have a front fender. It did have one when we bought it, but uh, the mounting bolts were messed up, so, and it was kind of rubbing on the tire a little bit when we was riding at home. So we just took it off, and we never did replace it. Uh, he likes the way the bike looks without it. Person, I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but I think it looked better with the fender on it. That's my opinion. But he when he really didn't care about spending the money to replace it so that's why it's not on there as you can see she shines up pretty nice uh one thing i wish we would have got around to and we still may do it is upgrading that uh headlight to an led because the headlight on this yeah it's big but it's just a halogen bulb so it doesn't give too awful much as far as lighting goes at night but yeah everything's working on it great just took her on about oh uh, i'd say about a 10 mile ride performed flawlessly but yeah uh, like i said if you guys are interested uh if this bike is getting sold i will be sure to let you guys know that as of right now it's still up in the air don't know if we're selling it or not it is a possibility if we are i'll uh, let you guys know i'll do a video on it and go over every single detail about this motorcycle uh price uh issues it may or may not have which you know as of right now has none uh, things that have been done to it, things that might need to be done to it in the near future, things like that. More content that we have coming up. Uh, my friends over at Eagle Lights are uh, they're getting ready to send me some stuff for the Road King. We are getting these headlights upgraded. Uh, we got a headlight and the two passing lights on the way, all LED. So big thanks to the guys over at Eagle Lights for sending those my way. Uh, should be uh it should be this wednesday's video i think uh if not it will be this sunday's video one of the two i'm not sure which one because i'm not sure when this video is going up uh this will probably be a sunday video I'm not sure yet i'm definitely glad that mother nature is starting to cooperate a lot more as far as the weather goes uh it's warmer it's about 63 64 degrees right now uh, it's supposed to be back up in the 80s this weekend, which I cannot wait for that. I'll definitely be getting a couple miles in this weekend uh, before I go to work. I do have to work Saturday. So, yeah, there's... Gotta pay bills. Gotta have that almighty dollar! But, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, click that subscribe button. I will have an affiliate link with Eagle Lights uh, in the description below. If you're interested in any of their products, I do have some videos on some of their products you can go check out. Uh, I'll actually create a playlist that has uh, everything to do with Eagle Light, so you can go through and watch them all if you're interested. Uh, but if you click that link, that'll be in the description below, it'll take you to their website, and through that link you can get 15% off of your entire order off of their website. So... Go ahead and check them out. Be sure to hit that like button, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday when I'm uploading new content. New content is what we crave. Sorry, I'm a little goofy this morning because yeah, I'm tired, but it happens. But like I said, hit that like button, click that subscribe button, and as always, ride safe. Have a good one, y'all.